Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Humble PC and Android Bundle 13. So, this uh, just came out yesterday, I believe. And uh, it contains seven games currently. It's, it's all about uh, games that were either ported from Android or they're making their Android debut from this pack. So, uh, f four of the seven games currently are making their... Oh no, uh, three of the seven games currently are making their Android debut. One is making a DRM-free debut. I believe you can download all of these games without Steam. So if you want to download download them directly, you can do that. So that's a good option to have. These are all on Steam as well. So if you have Steam and you just want to put them on there, you can do both. You can do either. Currently, the average price is 288, which is crazy because you get seven games. I've heard good things about some of these games. Haven't heard about some of the other ones, but I'm excited to try them. So let's just get right into the first game here. The first game is Crimson Land. So what it seems to be, well, I, I know what it is, but um, it is a t like a top-down shooter. Like, okay, let me explain this. It's a sci-fi. It, it describes itself as a sci-fi top-down shooter. Basically, you're this dude. It's that style of game where it's zoomed way out. It's like a bird's eye view from really up high, and you just see your little guy like in the middle of the screen, and you're just shooting dudes, basically. It seems, uh, it has local co-op, it has a bunch of weapons and stuff, it's got, it, it is really proud of its, its absolute carnage and chaos, so that's pretty exciting. It's got achievements, I'm not sure if they have uh, Steam, you know, compatibility, but uh, they're there, even if you don't, if you don't care about that. So, uh, this game is developed by 10 tons, it is making its Android debut from this bundle. It's available on all Windows, Mac, and Linux, and also Android. So uh, if, you wanna, if you wanted to pick this game up uh, and you, you thought you might not be able to because of a you know, platform issue, it's available on all platforms. So now to the next game. Never Ending Nightmares. Oh, by the way, all these games are available on all platforms, which is really sweet. And they're all DRM free or Steam. I, I've mentioned that already, but um, that's just pretty cool. Next game is Never Ending Nightmares. Uh, I, dr I dreaded the day I would have to play a horror game for this. So I have I have watched a, a couple videos on this this game, and <laughs> it is a psychological horror game. And the really interesting thing about this game is it was developed based on the developer's experience with mental illness. That terrifies me. I've seen gameplay of this game. It looks horrifying. Like, it, the game is basically trying to mess with you and make you go crazy the whole time. I am scared about playing this game. Just the thought of it, because I, I cannot stomach horror games very well. Uh, so, it's basically a psychological horror game. It's 2D. The art style is really cool. Everything just feels unsettling in this game. When you even when you watch it, it's like very unsettling, and the art style is perfect for the atmosphere. So, uh, it is developed by Infinitap Games, and it is making its Android debut. So, if you wanted to play it on Android and you buy this, uh, you buy this bundle, you can do that now. All right, on to the next game, Beat Buddy: Tales of the Guardians. So. What this game seems like to me, it, it's 2D, the art style, is, it, it looks really nice. It is a rhythm based, I, I, I don't know how to explain it, it's, watching it is very weird, like you, it's kind of hard to discern what, the, what you're playing, like not what you're playing, but how you play it. It seems like the way you move is with the beat. So like you, you, I think you might be only able to move when the beat is going, like it's a drum or something, and every time the drum beats, you can move. I'm not sure. I haven't played many rhythm games, but it, it looks the art style is really nice, really beautiful. It's hand drawn. It, it describes itself as an arcade game, so I assume there is like a kind of high score sort of element going on there. So uh, this is developed by Threeks. Not sh I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And it is making its Android debut again. So uh, if you wanted this on Android, you can absolutely get it. So next game, Photonica. 
think I'm almost sure I'm pronouncing that right. So this is basically a first person running game. So <laughs> the the way it like starts off, it says ever wondered what running 150 mile an hour miles an hour looks like or feels like. So this game seems like it's gonna be a very fast moving experience. I think the the basic gist of it is you're gonna have to be like jumping at the, the right times. That's what that's what it seems like to me. It I think it, it was on mobile before uh, PC. They might have came out at the same time, but this is not making its Android debut, so I'm assuming it was on previously. So, uh, it looks like there's eight different tracks, but it says multi-layered level design, so I'm assuming the tracks are very complex, so there's multiple multiple paths you can take, and uh, it does look like there's a, a speedrun element that you can like compare yourself with your friends and that sort of thing. So if you're into that, you can get it on mobile and, well, this is the PC and Android bundle, so you can get it on Android and PC and all that great stuff. So the next game is Tiny Keep. So this game, it, when I watched uh, some videos on it, it, it looked really interesting to me. So you basically it's like a third person view. It's like a dungeon crawling type game, what it seems to me. You're basically fighting monsters and stuff. It's, it's procedurally generated and you do have it does have permadeath so it, it's has that like binding of Isaac style of you know once you die you just have to start over which which, which is is really fun in, in some games so uh it see it, from what I can tell it's gonna be pretty hard it's gonna have a bunch of different enemies what what really struck me while I was watching the video was he like swung at like this fire like brazier and it like knocked over and all the fire like all the wood like spilled out of it and it was still on fire and it looked really good like the physics engine looks really good from what I can see so if you're if you like and, and the graphics look really nice the shadow like the lighting engine looks really nice the character model is okay but uh the, the all the like the environments are really well done I'm just looking at it right now they look really good and the monsters look really cool too. So, uh, if you like those like kind of roguelike games, you're gonna like this one. Oh, it's it's developed by Fi Games and Digital Tribe Games. I, I maybe it's a collaboration or one's a publisher. I, I don't really know. But uh, if you like this game, you're probably gonna like the next game too. Oh, look at that segue. So this game is called Crown Takers. It's a isometric like bird's eye view dungeon crawler like the last one it's procedurally generated it, it's described as a roguelike but also a, a battlefield so this game is hexagon based so it is it is a turn-based strategy game as well so the combat is is turn-based and it, it's really you have to think about what you're doing so it's it seems like not only is this like a different every time kind of gameplay style where I believe the areas you go through, yeah, uh, four diverse and procedural environments. So I assume there's like four classes of dungeon or whatever, and they're different. Each one is different every time. Seems like you can have like a party. So it seems like you can have ten in the party. So you can have like a little mini army, that kind of thing going. So you're gonna have to manage multiple units. You gather resources as well. So it looks like there's multiple endings. You can like gather resources uh, th this seems like this game has a lot to offer the combat looked interesting as well it's developed by Bulwark Studios and Casado Games hopefully hopefully I'm pronouncing that second one right but uh it I think yeah it's it's making its DRM free debut so I think this is previously only available on Steam I assume so now you can get it you can just get direct download so on to the next game I've heard great things about this next game Monster loves you. I, basically, every time I've heard this game talked about, it was positive. So it, it's basically if you've played the Yog, which is like a uh, a story based kind of making decisions, choose your own adventure type thing. This seems very similar. So you, you play as a monster. You're you're born, and you basically the the decisions you make are going to make far reaching impacts. It, it, I think it's purely text-based. 
So y you're like, you know, you're seeing backgrounds and stuff. You're getting art, so it's not just like a black screen. Yeah. From what I can see, it's it's pretty. The art's pretty nice too. You're basically making decisions. Like you come across a situation. Like I think one of the situations was, you find a child in the woods, and you're kind of like a teenage monster or something, and you can either choose to like ignore the child, help the child, or eat the child. So it, it's basically setting up like what kind of monster you're going to be so in the future when you have to make even bigger decisions those smaller decisions are gonna weigh into how people feel about you and that kind of thing so I have there are no more games as of yet but I there are going to be one or two more games I'm assuming in a few days there uh, this also comes with some soundtracks it comes with a Photonica soundtrack, and if you play, uh, if you pay more than the average, you get the the Tiny Keep soundtrack as well. Uh, this Humble Bundle is supporting the Electronic Frontier Foundation and American Red Cross. So if you like either of those charities, I would suggest donating. <laughs> so uh, overall, this this bundle's pr pretty exciting. <laughs> Not very excited about playing the hard game. I've heard great things about it, but it terrifies me. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. The, all these games look solid. It look, all these games look pretty much right up my alley. And I, I think uh, a lot of people's alley. <laughs> that just sounds gross. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And over the course of the, the next week, I will be coming out with reviews of all of these games. I'm not going to promise that because I did not get out one review last week because of a technical error. <laughs> Star Trek. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.